Hey guys, this is Camplified and today we will further discuss the chemical properties of aldehydes and ketones. We have already discussed the mechanism for the reaction of for addition reaction of aldehydes and ketones and today we will take a look at different types of reactions. Right? So the first one is that we are going to talk about is addition reaction addition reaction of sodium bisulfate with aldehyde and ketone. So what let's read out the statement first. Aldehydes and methyl ketones react with saturated aqueous solution of sodium bisulfate that is NaHSO3 to form so solid addition compounds. Now how the reaction will take place? The carbonyl group when treated with NaHSO3 you will get bisulfite addition compounds. You will get bisulfite addition compounds. Now this is the general this is the general reaction now let's take take a look at the example of LD, taking any example of aldehyde and ketone so this is your acetaldehyde and this is your acetone both have the carbonyl carbonyl group that is c double bond o when both treated with sodium bisulfite in the first case what you will get is this will be your final product now the name of this compound is acetaldehyde bisulfide acetaldehyde bisulfide right the second one is with ketone when you treat when you treat NaHSO3 with ketone what you are going to get is you can write it really fast in place of in place of this hydrogen in place of this hydrogen you will write CH3 and SO3NA will be there as it is. So this will be your acetone bisulfite. Now how this is a nucleophilic addition? This molecule will be dissociated into HSO3 sorry this molecule will be dissociated as NaSO3 negative plus H positive right and this will attack the sorry attack the carbonyl carbon to give the desired product right let's just discuss the mechanism Let the starting molecule be an aldehyde, right? This is your acetaldehyde. Now, how the bisulfite is going to react? Now, this is positive, this is negative. It has lone pair of electron, and there is a double bond, right? Now the first step now this is your delta positive right so the nucleophile will attack the carbonyl carbon and you will get to you will get to have this intermediate ch3 c o negative sorry double bond O and your Na sorry O N A right now what go, what's going to happen is this bond will come to 
this side the proton H plus will be released and this H plus will attack the oxygen right and you will get the final product as you will get the final product as CH3 C OH O negative and a positive double bond O double bond O right now what's left is your hydrogen so this is your final product for bisulfite and uh, this is this is written in elaborated way you can write it as ch3 coh h so3 and these two are same so this was your mechanism for the reaction with bisulfite right now let's just repeat it addition reaction of sodium bisulfide you can treat the carbonyl carbon of aldehyde and ketone both to get bisulfide addition compound right this is your mechanism and let's move to the second reaction now addition of hydrogen cyanide addition of hydrogen cyanide when a carbonyl carbon is treated with hydrogen cyanide what happens is aldehyde and ketone react with hydrogen cyanide to form cyanohydrins cyanohydrin will be formed the reaction is carried out in the presence of base catalyst so this is an addition reaction which is base catalyzed addition reaction right now let's take a look at the general reaction the final product will be oh and cn this is your cyanohydrin right now when acetaldehyde is treated with hydrogen cyanide you will get ch3c oh h and cn the name of the compound will be acetaldehyde cyanohydrin right similarly when a ketone is treated with hydrogen cyanide you will get and the name you can just suggest acetone cyanohydrin right so this is the general reaction this is the general reaction for aldehyde and ketone with the hydrogen cyanide now let's take a look at the mechanism how this is going to take place now first step first step since this is a base catalyzed reaction what happens is first of all hydrogen will be removed from hcn using a base this oh will attack the hydrogen and take out water molecule and give you a nucleophile cn negative right cyanide ion now step 2 the carbonyl group is there the carbonyl group is there now you have a nucleophile cyanide ion this is your delta positive carbon this is your delta negative oxygen the negative part will attack the positive carbon right the negative part will attack the positive carbon and you will get another intermediate sorry that's how you will get the structure o negative why because as soon as the neg uh, the nucleophile attacks the carbon the pi bonded electron will move towards the oxygen right now what will happen in the step 3 in step 3 the o the h plus ion in step 3 the h plus ion will come back at the oxygen atom this is negative 
plus H plus the H plus will now attack the oxygen to give you the final product that is cyanohydrin. This is your three step mechanism for the formation of cyanohydrin using aldehyde or ketone group right so these are the two reactions which we will discuss today this will be it for today's video thank you very much for watching